Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Callum. Sam. And today we're having a look at High Commissioner. Alright, High Commissioner is... Spinny. Spinny, <laughs> spinny. Um, it's a... It's a product of Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond. Loch... Loch Lomond. I don't know. Lomond. I think that's Loch, Loch, Loch Lomond. Lomond. Anyway, um, We've had one of theirs, haven't we? We never reviewed it. So yeah. it was well before we made the channel. Yeah, so Loch Lomond and specifically High Commissioner even, um, was such like a highly sold brand that it... Like even like, I don't know, it was... I think it was top three in the world sold, um, scotches at one point. They've gone through a bit Blended of... scotches or just all scotches? I can't remember. They started in the 60s. I mean, it's up there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and look, I mean, they're still huge. They're selling like close to a million like cases a Definitely. year. Um, but yeah, they, they've had a little bit of resurgence lately. They've changed their bottle. They're selling like more editions. Yep. But they do like grain whiskey, pot whiskey. Um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, column still whiskey. Like they do a bunch. Um, they do blends. They do sourced. They do basically everything. They're getting a lot of product out. Uh, yeah, so High Commissioner, uh, 40% ABV blended scotch whiskey. At least this one's actually whiskey. Technically. Yeah, like, as in we're getting, this, <laughs> yeah, we just did a review of a bourbon that was 37. 37%. It's got some legs on it. I feel like legs is a dodgy way of, like, getting... It just shows oil, doesn't it? Yeah, but does it? Somewhat. I don't know. I need to do research this on knows. the leg test. I feel like it never... Tells me anything. Is exactly That's how I remember Lock of Lomond. <laughs> Less ashiness though. I feel like this is more sweet. Uh, this is closer to like a watery monkey shoulder or. It's got a no, it's a whole lot more funky than a monkey shoulder. I don't know, the monkey shoulder is pretty funky from remember. From, from remember? From memory. I, like I can't be, I don't know where it is, I'm not gonna find it. I have no idea. <laughs> it takes too long to find it. Yeah. Um, no, I reckon it's kind of like a monkey shoulder, but more watery and less malted. A, yeah, it's got quite a nice nose in terms of the malt isn't overwhelming. It's like well blended on the nose. It, yeah, it smells more buttery and maybe like a butterscotch. Um, a bit fruity as well. It smells bright though, like yeah, bright, yeah, it, it smells cool. grain, grain whiskey. Uh, I mean, it's only forty percent. It smells well, grain so. spirit. Um, yeah, brightness like a like kind of vodka. I reckon that, I don't know if the lights can really tell, I reckon this has got some Colour. E150 colouring in it. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't a company like that. It's just like, I feel like it's just general practice for big, large scale blending companies to do stuff like that. Um, you gotta push the product somehow. Well, it's just Might part, make it. It look it's good. Just part of it. They're allowed to, of course they will, if they're just caring about that. I wanna taste this. Buttery, malty, Weirdly kind of white dessert winey and this kind of funkiness. Taste it. That weird white winey note that you said. <laughs> I don't want to say sad blanc, but it's along those kinds of lines in terms of a little bit. There's way got less that fruitiness in it. There's way less of that um uh, malt funk than yeah. Malt funk doesn't show up nearly as much as the like it's does. there because it's a you know it's a. Scotch, it's a blended scotch, so it's going to be there. It does remind me um, of the Loch Lomond though. Yeah, it's so it has got a very thin though. The Loch Lomond had more nuttiness and earthiness, isn't it? This yeah. has got more and it, I think fruity it has like some and pepper. Yeah, like, you know, like, like when I was about to say that it has, what I said before, where this has, oh, sorry, the Johnny Black has more ashiness to it. I don't know if it's ashiness, it might be a touch of smoke, but it's the pepperiness too. The, the nuts, the nuttiness and the spices, the pepperiness. This has none of that. Kind of got the amount of malt that you get on like a lowland even. It's kind of sitting around a lowland. Um, to be fair, it's not that bad. I actually, no, it's not bad. I actually it's the, enjoy it, this is the same deal as the bourbon we just yeah. did. We're like, how much was it? 40 bucks? 35? 40? How much was your bourbon? Mine was 35. I think it was Mine was either the same or 40. Yeah. Which is, again, fine in Australia. Um, there's not, that's very good get cheap. Yeah. That's below most blends. Yeah, I got another glass because I just want to compare it to another blend mm. that is something that we've enjoyed. That's a little bit higher in price, 20 bucks or so. Um, actually, sometimes a lot less. You can get this for 50. 
Fucked. I'm so it, it ranges from 50 to 60. 50 to 60. To dimple 12. This is dimple 12, by the yeah. way. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's all good. So I just want to compare it to something that I feel like a lot more people will have tasted or know of. And heard of, yeah. Way more honey on this. Like, I'm getting, like, genuine, like, honey yeah. on this. One thing I was going to say, this has a lot of body and flavour for the price. For the price. It's still quite thin, though. When and that's it. why I want to compare it to this. I want to see if it either holds up or if it just completely flops. This is more fruity as well. I'm getting raisins and honey. Just on the nose, compare it. This, I'm not getting any of that. I'm getting sweetness and... What? <laughs> it's like, it's like you opened a jar of honey. Well, literally, get, yeah, ton. it's like honey on toast with some, I don't know, maybe just like bran cereal with, uh, you know, sultanas slash raisins that with um, honey on it. cereal with honey on yeah. it. Yeah. It's fruit cereal with honey on it. And I don't get any of that on I this. prefer this nose. I really? Prefer, I, prefer I prefer that. I reckon, I that's, prefer more this I reckon that's more developed. Do what Daniel does. I prefer this nose. Yeah. Yeah, Daniel does when he talks about a whiskey with the glass on it. <laughs> I have never noticed, but I'm probably not going to be able to not notice from now on. This is just sweet on the nose. I'm getting nothing. It, it, tastes, it tastes exactly how it... I like this smell. I reckon it's way thicker. It smells like apple juice. I reckon that's... Personally, I reckon that's thinner and it's just honey vanilla. There's so much honey on the flavour on that. I prefer this. This is more deep and rounded for me. I like Mishnah. Personally. On the flavour I prefer. On yeah, the on the, I yeah. prefer the flavour. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. The nose definitely smells more developed. Like they're more, uh, their notes are more sincere, I'd say. I don't know how to, they're more sure of themselves. Like the notes are like clear honey, clear raisins, clear like cereal notes. This is kind of like yeah, you can you kind can, of it's yeah. weird. It's kind of moving through its lanes. It you can tell really they're aiming to get those nerves. Whereas this yeah. seems it just like it's more, more thoughtful and more deliberate, um, deliberate. more developed, <laughs> deliberate. Whereas this is kind of like it's moving in and out of being different things. But the taste, I thoroughly enjoy this more. It's a bit more rich, it's a bit bad. more peppery. It's, it's a lot better bad. than I want to say the other. Um, The other uh, budget scotch we have done kind of recently, the John Sampson, this is much better than that. Oh, yeah. About the same price. Maybe five, yeah, ten dollars different. the John Sampson out of the water. That is like cheap. Um, do we even have it? I might have. I think it's a my place. It might be. I oh, I did it. Yeah, because you talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was just like ash and pepper. It was like a Johnny Red, but even more like thin and... Yeah bright and simple. We'll link it up above. Um, also with the nipple tour, we'll link both episodes up. Yeah. Above. Look, we really liked that when it was on its own. Oh, yeah. Compared to this, it's kind of, yeah, it's sitting as a just, just sweet malt. Whereas this is less on the malt and more, I wouldn't say more on the sweetness, but less honey and more kind of like sugary it's and just lollies. How I, I would say just more rounded. It just, I don't, I don't, know. Know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. It's just, it's just nice. This is a very simple, but, quite quintessential Scottish blend. Like if you're into that, you'll definitely like this. It's easy going, you're not getting weird notes. There's no like jump of pepper or peat or uh, kind of like brine yeah. or, or chemical or anything like that. There's no phenolic notes that are jumping out. This is easy going. It'll it sit is well easy. on a Coke. It'll yeah. sit well on everything. It's uh, a great whiskey for $40. This is a good sipper for someone who's like into budget stuff or, yeah. or just getting into it. Um, so yeah, well, not, bad, not, not bad, not yeah. bad. I mean, they've been doing it long enough, they've been really popular for enough time for them to have surely gotten down the the, art. the mass market kind of production. Yeah, mm -hmm. art. they've got their recipe down to be as palatable as, as possible. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Everything Whiskey. If you liked it, leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes from us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, if you do, we will see you in the next one. Cheers. Gonna scull that out.